Right, hello YouTubers, Doctor Who fans, uh, Whovians, some of all the Doctor Who figure collectors, subscribers, fans, etc, etc. Welcome to part two of my second Doctor um, figure pack review uh, from the classic wave, well, classic exclusive waves of Forbidden Planet. And as you can see, I'm just going to be quickly reviewing and compar comparing my Tomb of the Cyberman, Cyberman figure. Which came in the second Doctor. No, obviously. Right. Um, on to the review. Um, I'm just going... Like I pointed out in my last review. Um, well, the f first part of the review. Um, of the handles about being a different material. And, and a much better shape quality. You know, due to my lighting problem. Can't really see it very well. Okay, yeah. I've already showed you that the uh, handles are a different material. And harder to move, more well, in fact you can only move without breaking it, and a rubbery uh, handles here. Now, um, I already mentioned about the um, paint job on the um, uh, chest units, you, as I said you probably can't see it, so I'm just going to leave that point out. And um, also, um, the paint job on the face is better than my last one, because if you can see here, it looks like he's got bags under his eyes, doesn't he? Like silver ones. Yeah, um, and on the mouse, the uh, paint job was completely out of place. Pretty disappointing. Looked a bit like a moon. This one, well, it's just right. Well, um, on the top of the his left eye, that's a bit missed out, but at the uh, right eye and the mouth, that's done uh, correctly. All right. Oh, it was a bit of a loud bang. If you heard it. Okay. Right then. Um, on to the review um, for the articulation. No, uh, oh, I can't. You can't see him. Right, hang on. Just move the camera. Okay, right. Yes, no, yes, you can. Well, not as well as I'd like, but anyway, I'll just lower him down. That's the spirit. Okay. No head articulation. None what's so freaking ever. Well, they don't move in the actual episode. I've, well, the moment I've got it now, managed to buy it. Okay. Uh, but. Arms can't do a full 360 degrees because of the wire here. Uh, it stops it. If you do it, it'll pull out, and that would never do. Okay, 360. Well, meant to be 360 degrees, about 180, I'd say. Okay. Um, not much articulation in the swivel joint in the arm because of the piping here stops it. 90 degrees the elbow and 360 degree turn at the hand. Now, no, none of them come off this time, like with my second doctor. Okay, a uh, waist joint that can move fair way around, but as you can see, the wires are stopping it from getting anywhere. Legs could go all the way up there with the uh, balls here or whatever. Don't fatten it whatsoever, they just. Oh, you didn't see it. They just slide out of the way. Okay, uh, knee joint that. No. The piping doesn't stop that either. Just goes along with it. And uh, 360 degree turn at the boots or feet. Okay. Right. Detail. I've mentioned part of it. But the piping on the arms and legs. Uh, um, balls here with all their holes. Not. Uh, doesn't go all the way around or all the way through. Wouldn't expect that either. Pipes. All these got uh, lines down here. Grooves. Whatever. Um, all the way on the legs as well. Uh, all the pipes down black, well in the episode these are sort of translucent plastic. No, translucent black. Uh, if you could go onto my favourites and you'll see that I've favourited the first part and the si sixth part, Tomb of the Cybermen. Right. Mm, on the back, uh, pipes don't go down on the back here which leads up to the arm here and just moves whenever you move it. The chest unit, done very well. Um, if you've watched him and Simon, you'll notice that um, this is uh, meant to be a very um, thin material um, on the actual chest unit. Like on the TARDIS floors. Um, well, not this playset because it's obviously card. I'm going to replace it with actual uh, material like this later to customise it better. Okay, yeah. Um, if you watch this, it's very fragile. So, um, Toberman. Uh, the giant in the episode, um, partially converted, managed to smash that open, and foam and organic stuff kept 
oozing out, which I thought was a pretty gross scene, actually, personally. It was, ew, disgusting. And here you can see a bit of organisms and wires in there, and electronics in there, and a bit of a light reflection. Um, no idea what this is for, I think that's just for decoration, it looks more like an axe to me. Um, a little light there, and at the top of the head, here, just a little light as well. And all the little dotted circle on the side, ovals there. Okay, that's for the Tomb of the Cyberman, Cyberman, uh, figure out review, twice. And uh, as I said, this is going to be a very quick one. Okay, so for the Tomb of the Cyberman, Cyberman, I'd now give it a um, 10 out of 10 because this one's better than my previous Cyberman. Oh, got to get the focus into play, that was my Cyberman, uh, well, second one. Out of the way. Okay, right, for the whole pack, I'd give it a um, 9 out of 10. Because there could have been a different enemy in there. Um, I don't know which, but they, like a Yeti, for example. We could, a Yeti, yeah, that would have been a good choice. That's one of the doc one of the Doctor's popular episodes. Or an Ice Warrior. That would have been that would have been equally as good. But um, I guess I wanted to make a few impu impu improvements to the Cyberman. Good God. Right, ex excuse me a minute there. Right, uh, yes, the whole set, 9 out of 10. Nice accessory, a, the exclusive second Doctor figure, which was very good, well worth collecting. Um, some people are recommended to get this set out of the lot, but um, I, I'd recommend both of them, actually. The William Hartnell and Dalek, and um, second Doctor and Tomb of the Cybermen. I'd recommend them both. Um, if you just can't decide, watch other reviews, Mega Shorts and Batman Marches, for example, and you might, uh, they do a bit better than me. Uh, yes, they're far better than me. Uh, yeah, I mentioned all the important details. I mean, Mega Shorts' camera, he's just brilliant, far better than mine. It doesn't move about everywhere, does the focus right. Batman March, well, need I say more, his reviews are brilliant. Right, yes, yeah, so, um, neither of you have asked for a shout out, so, um, I'll just do one either way. Um, Dalek Idea, Mega Shorts, and. Batman March. If anyone else wants a shout out, please ask me. I love doing shout outs, but um, I prefer to have people ask me if they want one first because just shouting out to someone just without them asking just seems a bit odd to me. Right, call me uh, odd now if you if you want, but um, if you do, comment will just be removed anyway. Uh, uh, please don't anyway. It doesn't annoy me. Okay, right. Thank you for watching this quick part of the review. Uh, second part of the second Doctor um, classic exclusive figure pack. Alright, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, uh, send friend invites, and ask me for a, for a subscription, that kind of stuff. I'm more of a subscriptions person, but I do like um, subscribers as well. Okay. Right, um, thank you for watching, and um, my next review will be the Tom Baker Adventure set, or Fourth Doctor Adventure set, actually. Right, thank you for watching, and keep an eye out for that review. Thank you.